Good afternoon, one and all. So we have Dr. Geoffrey K. Francis, founder and secretary, and also the correspondent of St. George's Arts and Science College, Chennai. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, a small self-introduction about you, sir. Yeah. I have been in the field of education for the last 47 years. I started my life as a lecturer in Loyola College, Madras. And after that, I went on to Jain College to be an assistant professor. I worked in AM Jain College, Mela Bakam, Chennai for nearly 40 years. From the post of assistant professor, I became head of the department after about 20 years. Then I was promoted as principal. I held the post of principal till I retired for the next seven years. Consequently, I was the director of this uh, ship to college where we have today more than 10,000 students and more than 25 courses, commerce, business, computers, and various other courses. Apart from that, I've been involved in schools. I've been the correspondent for nearly five schools for the last 20 years. And I've been active in the field of education as elected as the member of the Madras University Academic Council as elected as member of the uh, Senate and in 1985 I was nominated as member of the Legislative Assembly by the Governor of Tamil Nadu to represent the anglo indian community. I've always been involved with children, with students because I have a passion and I love to teach, to educate and to see that children blossom into budding plants that they will use their lives to improve themselves and to improve our nation. Sir, great introduction, sir. We'll commence with the interview. Sir, you have held key positions at education institutes throughout your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector, sir? The most important thing about being involved in education is to have a passion, a great love, a great desire to learn, to educate, to improve, and to you to see that our students are built up like building blocks, like building a mountain or building a tower or building a posh multi-story building, making them building blocks so that they grow and they contribute to themselves and to society. And the key factor is we enjoy to see the growth of a child from small to a full-fledged grown human being and how he uses his talent, his capacities, his abilities and molds them in such a way that he becomes a great success. So great thoughts on the previous question. So the next question is, sir, being the founder and correspondent of the St. George's Arts and Science College, what is your philosophy of leadership how would you describe your leadership style, sir? My philosophy of education and leadership is number one, to have a desire to make them academically sound, combined with compassion, combined with empathy, combined with sympathy. We live in a nation where there are a lot of poor children struggling so we have to see that these children are provided for. So a compassionate outlook, a magnanimous outlook in providing for them and giving them peace and other things like even food, try to give them and then educate them and encourage them and motivate them to make a mark in life. So question number three. Being the founder and correspondent of St. George's Arts and Science College, how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for the marketing and the administration of your college? When I started St. George's Arts and Science College, I came with a background of thorough academic and administrative experience from Jane College. So I'm aware and I know what is suitable for our students. So the key areas in which I concentrated in building the colleges, focusing in commercial education, the commerce stream, 
So we concentrated on BCom, BCom Accounts and Finance, BBA. That is one aspect. The second aspect is to give a technical balance to the college. So we started the BSc Software, a BSc Science course, and then of course we started the BA Literature course. The whole purpose of this is. On one side, to encourage students for the e-commerce field, which is a growing, vast field in India, a lot of jobs in the field in e-commerce as for chartered accountants, for business accountants, for bankers, and all that. And also, there is a vast field for computer development, computer software, computer science. So we are training students for this growing field. I did my PhD in uh, marketing of software. So that has given me a great desire to develop students to concentrate in the field of computers and to be highly qualified, so that they can fit in the growing world demand for computer software and for chartered accountants, business managers, and bank managers. So great insights on the previous question. So the next question is: How does the curriculum of Saint George's Arts and Science College ensure the best in the industry, sir? See, basically, the college is affiliated to the University of Madras, so we go by the curriculum fixed by the University of Madras, and the curriculum of the University of Madras is a well-balanced, well-thought-out, well-planned syllabi in the field of commerce, in the field of computers, and in the field of literature. More than that, we are orienting our students to become industry-oriented, business-oriented. Entrepreneurial oriented, so we give them special talks, special lectures, special programs to use their to use their knowledge for practical purposes. Theory is one thing, practice is different. So we have to encourage, motivate, and give them the boost and the desire. Set up your own business. How to do it? So we have special programs so that people become entrepreneurs and build their own companies and build their own businesses. So the next question is, what do you think should be college's top priority over the next ten years? For the next ten years, the whole world is moving into a high-level technological computer explosion, and therefore we have to concentrate in the latest fields of computer development, business development, and artificial intelligence. Robotics is a growing field, so these are the future of the country, and also now India is moving at a higher level in space technology, missile technology, and various other high-level technologies. So the universities and colleges must start giving importance to these fields, in the field of technology, robotics, artificial intelligence, so that our students are well prepared. To take on the responsibilities not only in India but in the world. So the next question is, sir, you being the founder of Saint George's Arts and Science College, what was your vision for the college? Has it evolved over time, and how far along has been implemented, sir? My vision for Saint George's Arts and Science College is to make it one of the preeminent, top-ranking, high-level colleges. Providing the best quality education in the field of commerce, in the field of business, in the field of computers, and also the growing fields that are coming up. I can say, since this is just a new college where we are moving into the third year, to some extent we have achieved it, but we have a long way to go. And the next few years we'll be concentrating in making this vision a reality. So that our students go out with this vision that they are the best, and the college has played an important role in making them high-quality students who will really serve this nation. Great, sir. So, last and final question: uh, Why must students prefer to choose Saint George's Arts and Science College, and what are the benefits after joining them, sir? The main reason why I would like young boys and girls to choose Saint George's Arts and College. Number one, because it's a college meant for boys and girls with high ambitions, the great desires to be the best, 
this college offers you a glorious future set in a beautiful ambience of nearly 29 acres beautiful buildings lovely trees lovely campus and we also have metro station in our own campus this are all added attractions more than that we have an excellent library we have a lovely computer center we have a seminar two seminar halls and we have over 50 computers to provide our students for the best but this is only the beginning we have a long way to go and our dream is that st george's must be the number one attractive magnet for young boys and girls to come and study here and more than that we want to create in the minds of the students a sense of confidence a sense of assurance a sense of a sense of composure that after their courses wherever they are they are strong they are effective and they are good in their fields of study sir uh, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for your time for college dunia that you have provided i hope uh, definitely st george's arts and science college will reach out to the greatest heights in next few years and uh, reach out the vision which has been implemented by you sir thank you thank you so much the great honor to be on this interview thank, thank you thank you sir